guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my April haul video, so if you guys are interested in seeing what I picked up this month, just keep watching. Okay guys, I did go a little ham this month, and honestly, some of this stuff I may even have picked up at the end of March, but I don't know. Or I filmed a March haul, but it was like April. I don't remember what I did, but anyway, really quick, the lip product I'm wearing on my lips today, this is the new Dose of Colors Mini Collab in the shade Bowtiful, and this launched on Ulta, and I have a 20% off coupon, and I really like Dose of Colors lip formula, and come on, look at this packaging. So I did pick this up, and then I also picked up this palette, which I'm wearing today. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Face Palette. And I wasn't gonna initially buy this because I didn't think it was gonna work on my skin tone, but honestly, I really like it, and all the shades work for me, so I did buy this. It's definitely a pricey palette. I don't know if it's gonna be available on Sephora's website. I bought this on Charlotte Tilbury's website, but I really like it, and she makes some really nice products. The next thing I bought was this guy from Ulta. This is the Ulta Adeline Moraine palette. This is a collab that they did. I wasn't initially interested in buying this, but then Ulta sent a second coupon, probably because they were trying to get people to buy stuff on their side before the VIB sale. So I totally caved because I love the shade yellow and so many people had such good things to say about this. So I bought it and this is the palette I'm actually wearing on my eyes today. I did film a get ready with me using new makeup. So if that's already up, I will go ahead and link it for you guys. If it's not, definitely subscribe so you can catch that video when it does go up on my channel. Okay, next thing I wanna show you guys is Sydney Grace's Spring Bundle. They actually send me these. So this is my um, first ever PR from Sydney Grace and these shades are beautiful. As you can see, there's five matte shades and five shimmer shades. I've already filmed a look with this color selection. So I will try and remember to link that video up in the cards for you guys. And then this random blush is a relaunch that ColourPop did. And I just thought this was such a fun color for the springtime. So this is the shade Whirl, and this is one of ColourPop's blushes. So I just bought that as a single, and I just have it sitting in this palette. Okay, next thing I bought are some of these ColourPop pigments, these loose pigments. I was never interested in these. I know they came out with a whole collection with Kathleen, but when I saw that they did some neons, I was so excited. This is the outer packaging. I just kept the boxes show, so I could show them to you guys. And these are the three shades I bought. I bought this coral called uh, Hundo, and then this yellow is called Fool For You, and then the pink is called Power Up. I've tried Fool For You, and honestly, I wasn't very impressed with the pigmentation of this one. So now I'm a little bit weary to try the others, but I do have them, and I will see if I can try them out some more, but I definitely don't plan on buying any more of these because I don't think I'm gonna get any use out of them, really. I was just really interested in the colors, and I feel like I kind of jumped the gun, and I should have just gone with my gut, which is I don't usually wear pigments, but they're pretty, so I can like put them on display, I guess. <laughs> okay, I also picked up this mascara. Somebody had commented on one of my videos that Mel Thompson had said that this is very similar to the Pat McGrath mascara, and this is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist mascara. I just got it at Target and was like eight bucks, and I'm actually wearing it today. It was nice, it's kind of clumpy. I'll definitely keep trying it and let you guys know what I think about it. Okay, more things I bought from Ulta. I did get this little box of blending eggs from Beauty Bakery. I had heard so many people talking about these, and I was so curious, and honestly, it's probably time for me to replace some of my favorite sponges. Um, they're looking a little gnarly, so I did use one today. It's nice and chunky from being wet, and there's five more in here, so I'm really excited, and these were only 18 bucks, so I think that was a good deal, and the packaging is so cute, and I know I'm gonna get such good use from this set. Okay, next couple of things I also got from Ulta. I picked up these two Shockwave neon eyeliners from LA Girl. Actually, I got two more. They ship separately for some weird reason, so I'm expecting a box from Ulta with just two eyeliners in it later on, but I got the shade Screaming, which I'm actually wearing my waterline, and I was really impressed at how it went on. And then I got the black too, because you can never have too many black eyeliners in my opinion, and this is the shade Blackout. These were like five bucks, and then they were on sale for like two something, so 
I'm so pumped that I picked these up. And then I picked up a backup of the NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. I actually really like this if you're looking for a sticky base. It works really well. And I would recommend it. I've actually used it many times. And so yeah, it's a good one to have on hand. And then I wanted to try this out. This is the new Anastasia De Brow Gel um, Eye Brow product that they came out with. I picked up the shade Ebony. And this is a highly pigmented waterproof brow gel featuring a long-lasting formula for creating fluffier looking defined brows. And I was totally going to use this in the video where I filmed this look, but I totally forgot. So I will try and remember to report back on that one for you guys. And then I must have gotten this free in a BH Cosmetics order. This is a BH liquid eyeliner in the shade, does it say here? black and I love a good liquid eyeliner and it was free so I will definitely try it out and see what I think. Okay next thing I got was some skincare. These were recommendations from my friend uh, Mascara Cakes. I asked her, these are old actually, I just forgot to put them in a video but she has a beautiful skin and I was like what the heck are you putting on your skin? Your skin looks so good and she said oh it's that one dollar cream from Shop Miss It. I'm like what? And so she sent me like the links and I picked up a bunch of these I actually bought some for my mom too um, but this is the collagen skin cream and the retinol skin cream and they're a dollar a pop and I was like why not so yeah I haven't used these a ton but I have been putting them on here and there so I'm really excited this one we use as a day cream and this one as a night cream for retinol um, but yeah these are cool the pink one says it promotes pH balance um, and it visibly reduces fine lines and wrinkles, enhances elasticity, boosts skin strength, hydrates and nourishes, delays the effect of aging, which are all great. And then the blue one says promotes skin firmness, minimizes fine lines, wrinkles, helps boost cell renewal, evens skin tone, delays effects of skin aging. So I love both of that. And yeah, I'm excited to try these. They're only a dollar and here's what, the, what they look like. So you get a decent amount. I don't think you know, for a dollar you can complain too much about the size of these and they're pretty full, like they don't, so I think those are cool. <laughs> Next I picked up the Fenty Beauty Bronzer and honestly I bought a shade lighter than what Sephora recommended to me and I'm low-key kind of thinking of getting the actual shade Sephora recommended because I bought ba uh, Bajan Gail girl, I don't know how to say that. Um, and I feel like it's very close to my skin tone. And I saw Caramel Cutie, which is the shade Sephora thought I should get. And now I'm considering with the VIB sale if I should just try that shade out too. But I love a good bronzer. And so far this formula is not problematic at all. I, I don't know what else to say about it. I love a good bronzer. This is a good bronzer. I think if you're on the fence or if you're looking for a bronzer, like, don't be afraid to buy this one by Fenty Beauty. So I'm just going to put that back in the box. But the packaging is really pretty too. Okay, next thing I got, and I did put this on today as well. This is the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. Soup's cute. It comes in like this little flower bag and it's so cute and I've been using it. I don't like particularly love this. I don't think it's like the best setting powder that ever existed but I got it during one of the Ultra 21 Days of Beauty sale and I was like you know what it's not so bad so I like it I don't love it I think the packaging is really cute and that's all I have to say about that okay next thing I bought this is when I bought the blue blood, blue blood palette I decided to also pick up some things from Beautylish some other things so I picked up some of the good molecules which is a new skincare line they're carrying it's kind of like the ordinary it's very affordable I am using a few of the products in my skincare routine honestly I haven't seen any major differences in my skin um, but I do like the affordability of these so you know it is what it is so I'm wearing the ultra hydrating facial oil today underneath my makeup and honestly I used to love the Juno oil by Sunday Riley but I think my skin's gotten really used to the Juno oil so it doesn't perform as well as I'm used to so it's nice to have something different and then they have a wake up eye serum which I also use on my eye area it's not as hydrating as I want it to be and I can never get the right amount of product out because it does come in a dropper. I have it sitting right here. I actually put this on today. But sometimes I get a lot of product out and sometimes I don't get enough product out. So 
that can be kind of tricky. And then I also have the Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which I was using, and I keep this upstairs in my bathroom upstairs, and it's all right. I like that it's not as sticky as the ordinary Hyaluronic Acid, um, but is it changing my life? Not really, to be honest. And the set came with more product. I think I put some of it away, but I have a niacinamide serum and a super peptide serum. So I gotta figure out ways to like incorporate all of this into my skincare routine. I just haven't really gotten around to it. But from now on, I think I need to like pump the brakes on skincare and not buy so much because I have so much to try out still. I don't think I showed this in a haul, but this is the Just My Luck palette from ColourPop. I actually put this on my eyes for the first time the other day and it's nice. I must say, it's not my favorite green palette. I think my favorite green palette is probably the Tribe palette by Juvia's Place. But I'm glad that ColourPop tried to do something like this. I feel like they're the only mainstream brand that has recently put out like a green palette. I suppose Tarte did do the Icy Betch palette and they're pretty mainstream too. But it was really nice to see ColourPop take a shot at an all green palette. And I'm happy to have picked it up. From the Nine Pan palettes, I think my favorite is still the It's My Pleasure palette, which is a big credit to the It's My Pleasure palette because I'm not like one of those people that is obsessed with purple. And I know there's a lot of people that love purple way more than me out there. Um, my favorite color is definitely green, but I think the purple palette was is way better than the green palette if you're trying to pick. Okay, this was kind of random, but I heard so many people talk about this nail polish brand and Ella and Mila and one of the YouTube or Instagram accounts I follow had posted they were doing like buy three get two free or something like that. So I did pick out some shades from them. I picked out um, Sunburst, I have Ibiza Breeze, which is like one of their famous colors. I have Limeade, I have Samba Beats, and Sweet Tooth. And honestly, I don't love these nail polishes. Ella and Mila Sunburst is basic. This color is like a highlighter. It doesn't have any opacity to it. I could layer this on all day long and it wouldn't look like my nails do right now. And so I don't love that color. And then the other ones are okay, but I think they definitely look better once I put a top coat on them. Otherwise, they don't look as shiny. And so I'm not really in love with this formula, in case any of you were wondering. I still love Kale Polish. That's probably my favorite like nail polish brand. Um, but now that they're going out of business, I'll probably have to find something new. And since it was summer, I really wanted to get my nails done and Easter and stuff like that. So I did get my nails done and I haven't really been wearing nail polish that much. And these are dips. So these are my real nails, which I'm pumped about that my nails are growing so long. So that makes me happy. I also picked up this Flower Heat Wave Bronzer. This is a new product from them. And I just saw it sitting there and I was like, let me try it out. But I feel like it might be too light, but they only had two shades. So I didn't really have a whole lot to pick from. I might return this. Um, it's unopened. I've never tried it. Um, kind of on the fence about it, but we'll see. This is Sally Hansen's collab with Jelly Belly. And they had about eight shades. This one's really fun though. This is the uh, Tutti Fruity one. And it has like a pink base with tons of sparkles. So this is a really fun like spring summer shade and uh maybe when i get my nails off i'll put this back on but it's a cute color and the only one i got from that collaboration even though they had a bunch of fun ones then i picked up a bunch of these color pop jelly much shadows i really liked the ones i saw in their spring collection so i bought the shade um, which one is this? This is called Late Bloomer, and it's like a beautiful blue-purple color. Like, a, I don't know, it's like that color that's super in right now. And then I bought Photosynthesis, which I actually wore on Instagram, so if you guys haven't seen it, um, you should check it out. It's like a beautiful gold sort of chartreusey but more yellow gold color and I really like that those are so these are so easy to use like if you don't like to use cream shadows honestly this is really easy you just need to take a flat brush and it doesn't like get cakey you can just smoothen it out use it like an eyeshadow and it dries down to like perfection um you don't have to fuss with them and I really like it and then I bought another shade from their permanent collection this is the jelly much in once and floral it's like this cool red oh gosh look <laughs> it's it's like a 
multi-chrome. This one's like really, oh God. I think that one got some air in it. I'll have to, it's like a beautiful multi-chrome orange, red, yellow shade. I think my friend Vanessa from Hot Mess Nest MUA had hauled it and I was like, okay, now I need it. So it's really pretty. And then I also bought a blush from their spring collection because this looked gorgeous and I just had to have it and I've already used it a ton. This is No Vacay. It's a super shock chic color and it's like this beautiful coral like, oh my god, it's like the perfect summer hot coral shade and I love wearing it. I honestly kind of look like a clown when I have it on but I hardly care because I love like having a pop of coral, like bright, bright coral on my cheeks because I just think it looks so like sun-kissed or like in the winter time it looks like I've been out in the cold and I love that. And then I picked up two So Juicy glasses for my mom. I'm gonna give these to her on Mother's Day. So I bought Dress Code and It's a Habit. Um, she really likes traditional lip glosses in a tube. She's been like looking for them all over. Then I got this as a free gift, I believe, when I purchased the It's My Ray Ray palette. It's the lip gloss in Rosy Ray. And I think I'm just gonna throw this into a giveaway for you guys. I also got another one. This was another free gift with purchase. This is the Cashmere Cream by BH Cosmetics in the shade Rose. And then I bought this one with my Alta coupon. You guys know I love the Morphe liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Taunt. And it was just a color I didn't have. I haven't used this yet. I'm too lazy to get it out of the box, but I do have that. And then I also bought a new MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot because mine got all dry and gunky. So I decluttered it and so I thought it was time to get a new one. And then I did buy the Beach Drop Liner Set from ColourPop. These are the neon liners and I showed it in a swatch party video, but here they are in case you're curious about these and yeah, these are actually really fun. I did break a little bit of my green when I was swatching it and I was kind of sad about it, but honestly, these are so inexpensive. So if you've been on the fence about them, definitely watch my swatch party video so you can see how these look on a medium tan skin tone. Okay, so last but not least, I have all the palettes I purchased in the month of April. I have a few more. I'm waiting for like some more pre-orders and some are like shipping like the Kale Kaleido Kaleidos Cosmetics palettes so those will probably just go in May's haul but that's okay. I just got this. This is the newest thing that arrived for me. This is Sydney Grace's Danny's Bundle. It was their dupe of the April Fool's Pickle palette that was teased um, by like an Australian brand. I guess it's going to be like a new makeup trend where every April Fool somebody's going to come out with a foolish palette and then Sydney Grace is going to dupe it but did I need this? Probably not but I don't know the hype of things. It just got me. I just want to swatch this color. It's so pretty. <laughs> it's like a beautiful green with like blue flecks in it. Ooh, this is going to be so fun to try on the lid. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, that's the first thing I got. And then, of course, I did buy Mr. Jeffree Star's Blue Blood Palette. I was on a kick wearing this, and I was going to review it for you guys, and then I fell off the wagon because I got a bunch of other stuff. I don't know if I love this palette. I love the idea of this palette, but I feel like I love the idea more than I actually like the palette because there's a lot of fallout, and it's a tough palette to work with. I definitely feel like you want to be, like, medium good at makeup before you invest in this palette because... If you're a beginner and you try to blend this thing, you're gonna be struggling. Okay, let's see here. I did get this guy. This is the ColourPop Festival collection. I did post a swatch party video of this palette. There's something so appealing about these shades in this palette and the colors and the like the pat like the actual packaging. Ugh, something about it's so beautiful. So I did pick that up. And then I did pick up the Tarte Icy Bitch palette. I can't believe this sold out. Like, I don't think you can buy this on Sephora. And I want to do an eye look with this and film it for you guys. I just haven't yet. So definitely stay tuned for that. I did get the BH Cosmetics Color Festival palette. I believe I filmed a swatch party video on this one. And 
I was testing it and then I fell off the wagon as per usual. I do have a review on this. I don't think I showed this palette in a haul, but this is the Color Rain Safari Rain palette. Definitely one of my new favorite palettes. Gorgeous formula, so pigmented. Watch the review. I don't want to keep going on about it. And then I did buy, this isn't a palette, but I did buy this. I think I'm going to return this though, to be honest, because I feel like these shades, this shade is not going to work on my skin tone, but I just like fell for the packaging. I should swatch it. My friend Vanessa said that people were saying they couldn't get any pigmentation out of this guy. And I mean, I did, but can you like even see that on me? I feel like I've bought so many bronzers this um, spring already that I shouldn't just keep this for the sake of keeping it. Just checking my makeup. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know, it's such pretty packaging, but it's disappointing. I wish Too Faced would make um, bronzers for my skin tone or darker. If you are darker than me, can you let me know what shades from Too Faced you use? Because I cannot figure it out by looking at their website. I don't remember if I showed this anywhere. Oh, actually I filmed my eyeshadow palette collection video. So you guys probably seen all of these palettes already. Um, but I'm just going to show them to you again. So I did pick up the Subculture um, palette at my local Home Goods or Marshall store because um, Spooky Lips and Fat Hips was telling people that um, it seemed like the palette got reformulated from the original to be like the original Anastasia formula, which I really like. So I definitely jumped on the train and bought it. Bought the Zodiac palette from BH. This is the Aries palette. I um, really want to get the Taurus palette as well, but honestly, I paid full price for this and I feel like I shouldn't have because I can usually get these on sale. So I'm gonna wait until the uh, Pi Pisces Taurus palette goes on sale. I'm not gonna buy them full price anymore. I also did pick up, it's my Rare Rare palette. There is a swatch party on this one. I got the Villains palette by ColourPop. I can't remember if I swatched this for you guys. I probably did. Um, and I kind of talked about how I regretted buying this in my collection video. I also just got in the new Dose of Colors Minnie Mouse palette. I wasn't gonna buy this, but it came available on Ulta and I had a 20% off coupon and I was like, oh my God, mini palette to go with the Mickey palette. So adorable. I really wanna wear these two red shades in my crease or somewhere all over my eyes so i'm gonna do that and then this is the spring palette i don't know if i showed this in my last video but here is what it looks like this is a sweet talk palette by ColourPop. super duper cute and then you guys haven't seen this yet but i just bought this like a week ago this is a natasha denona biba palette and i was totally on the fence about this palette and when it first like launched and they like announced it i was like seriously natasha like get your shit together um but i watched michelle wang and she was so excited about this palette and i just felt like i could find a good place for this palette in my collection and i had a hundred dollar gift card that or like a hundred dollar sephora reward that's expiring may 1 and I don't believe you can combine those with the 20% off sale. If you can, let me know because I assumed you couldn't, which is why I bought this before the sale because I was like, oh, let me just get it. I can totally like use this so many different ways. And I honestly really like this palette and I'm happy I bought it. Do you, I think like you guys should run out and get it? Absolutely not. But if you feel like you're going to use this and this palette has a place in your collection, Heck yeah, you should get it. It's definitely like a fun neutral palette and there's nothing wrong with, you know, having a neutral palette, I guess. And then with the Alta sale, I also picked up four of these new um, single palettes because super duper handy and usually Alta has these on sale, buy two, get two free. So you get each palette for 10 bucks, which I think is the best deal. I love having Z palettes that have the clear front so I can see what's in them. Um, so I just want to give you guys that little tip because every once in a while people ask me how I store my single palette, single pan shadows and I do that with those palettes. They're wonderful. And then the last two things I want to show you, I did get a Touch of Glam's is this called something rainbow it's like they're one of their newer single collections they're already coming out with a newer collection than this one 
um, but I just got this so I want to show it to you. It's a very textured shadow and I've used it a few times. I use this purple shade. It's so pretty. But yeah, you guys will see this in my singles collection. And then I also picked up some of the newer shades from Give Me Glow and I'm so excited and I picked up um, this shade which is called Low Battery. It's like the brightest red I've ever seen. This purple, this blue, um, this green is called St. Patty's. Um, so yeah, a bunch of beautiful new shades from them. I mixed them in with some of the shades I already own from um, Give Me Glow. But yeah, they have a bunch of beautiful single eyeshadows as well as some beautiful palettes if you guys are interested in checking them out. They're one of my favorite indie brands as well. I feel like there's probably something I haven't included, but it is what it is. Every month I try to be better about like keeping all the stuff I want to show in a haul in a separate spot, but then I get impatient and I end up mixing things up and it is what it is but I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little haul video thank you guys so much for watching oh and really quick I'm thinking about I'm I'm thinking about okay like this is not official I'm thinking of doing like a no new makeup May I know I know it seems like a lot for me because I already feel like there's something coming out in May that I already want but I can't think of it right now so I feel like I can maybe try and squeeze in a no by month um I just feel like I need it I have so much makeup to play with and so many things to film that I never get to because I keep buying new stuff so I'm contemplating it send me your positive vibes let me know what you think should I do it? I'm curious to hear your thoughts. So leave me a comment down below. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in my next one soon. Bye.